sugar. Check this out. Breakfast, a sugar smoothie. 14 bananas, about 80 to 100 grams of sugar. That makes this about 1,800 calories of pure sugar. Not just sugar, but high carbohydrate or sugar smoothie. Lots and lots of sugar. And this is just my breakfast. This is just breakfast. One meal. 1,800 calories. That's, that's the same amount as a lot of people on calorie restriction diets are doing in their whole day. I'm having it for breakfast. Sugar does not make you fat. Another controversial topic, busting out the controversy at the moment. A bit of sugar just to get me through this. Mm. It just tastes so good. Okay, let's start off with the science of it. Why doesn't it make you fat? Okay, every cell, every muscle, every organ, every single cell in your body, in the human body, runs on the same fuel. Glucose which quite simply means sugar. Glucose is a form of sugar, just as is fructose, which is sugar in fruits, or galactose, or any other oses. So every cell in the human body runs on sugar. Everything you eat, no matter what it is, your body digests and metabolizes, in, turns it into glucose, so it can be used. Every single food you eat, be it pancakes, or bananas, or bread, or potatoes, or rice, or beans, or sweet corn, any food, carrot, <laughs> any food you eat, your body metabolizes and breaks down into usable energy, glucose. So if every cell in the body runs on sugar, surely it makes sense to fuel your body with sugar. Simple sugars which is easily converted to usable sugars as glucose. Okay, so what's the main reason most people say sugar will make you fat? The main way of thinking about that is normally something along these lines. Uh, when I eat sugar it's empty calories because it doesn't have anything in um, any, any other nutrients, just empty calories and then the sugar gets turned into fat because it's not giving me any good. That's the main way of thinking. Empty calories and then sugar gets turned to fat. Here's scientific evidence that that is incorrect. Look up the word dietary thermogenesis. That proves that any sugar, glucose, glycogen, um, which is consumed in your body, any excess gets burned off into heat. Thermo. Dietary thermogenesis. And that makes sense if you think about it. If every cell in the body runs on glucose, it's designed to have lots of gl glucose poured into it, lots of sugar poured into your body. So it would be pretty bad setup if every time we put a bit too much glucose in, which is bound to happen, uh, gets turned into fat. It would be a pretty poor setup by your body. In our saliva, in our mouth, we have what's called carbohydrate digestive enzymes, which is in, a, in an amylase, I believe it's called in your saliva in your mouth, which breaks down carbohydrates from the moment of entry into your mouth. That's why it's called carbohydrate digestive enzyme. And fruits, easiest thing for your body to digest. As soon as you put a banana in your mouth, or anything in your mouth, it starts digestion up here. Those carbohydrate digestive enzymes start to work and swallow it down. So the fact that we have those enzymes in our mouth proves we're supposed to be consuming large amounts of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates just means sugar. Whatever carbohydrate you have gets turned into sugar. But what is sugar? Sugar has been so demonised, it's kind of thinking, oh god, how many teaspoons of sugar's in this, how many teaspoons of sugar's in that. Yes, it's bad to have processed sugars added to other fatty foods and other things like that, but sugar itself is not bad. What is it? Sugar is a nutrient. Going on the fact that every cell in the body runs on glucose, which is sugar, sugar therefore must be a nutrient. It's not a drug or anything like that, or anything addictive. Sugar is a nutrient which nourishes your body. So it's 100% it's essential. A life without sugar would be impossible. You would die if you did not consume any sugar, and if your body did not 
have the capability to break down your foods into glucose. Sugar is essential. Let's look at some examples. If sugar made you fat, surely I would start be starting to get overweight by now. This is a regular meal for me. This is 1,000, 1,800 calories of sugar. Fruit, fructose sugar, and refined sugar poured in as well. If anyone knows me, and I'm starting to put on more videos of my recipes, but anyone knows me personally, if you see how much food I eat, like if I ever eat rice, I eat a shed load of rice. If I ever have cereal, sometimes some low-fat vegan cereal, I pour sugar on top of my cereal. Like I've, I've eaten about 300 grams of sugar in one sitting before, refined sugar. I've been doing this lifestyle for over a year now, and I've been losing weight progressively over time, small amounts of weight. If sugar made you fat, surely I'd be going the opposite way. Look, look, I'm, I'm not, I was never fat in the first place, but if sugar made you fat, surely I would be starting to get overweight by now. And it's not just me, I'm not a very good example because I've only been doing it for one year. Looking at the long-term examples, look up Durian Riders on YouTube. He's been doing a vegan lifestyle, eating more sugar than anyone on the planet, probably, for the last 13 years. And people complain about him being really skinny. And what about other cultures in, in the world? China. Largely, the majority of the population with enough food and enough calories survive on rice, solely rice, which is pure sugar, people. It's just complex carbohydrate, which is pure sugar. High carb, low fat. And they're all skinny as a rake. I've done this before. Kenyans, their main staple is called ugali, which is corn. It's corn, which is high carbohydrate, low fat. Kenyans, all skinny. Uh, Thailand, rice. Pretty much the whole of Southeast Asia with enough carbohydrate, uh, with enough calories and enough money to buy those, those foods. High carbohydrate rice consumption and they're all skinny. Carbohydrates are sugar. Sugar does not make you fat. If it did, the people in China, the people in Thailand, the people in Kenya, the people in Cambodia would all be fat. I would be fat. If sugar made you fat, this smoothie would make me huge. I have this every single morning, sometimes lunch and sometimes dinner as well. Sugar does not make you fat.